Hi everyone, um, I'm back today with another video and it's going to be about um, the reasons why I used to buy things um, that I didn't need um, or yeah, the reasons why I used to buy things I didn't need. So um, a, like the first one is, um, you know, you get that kind of like hit of excitement um, from buying something. So I remember like I would... I would get a kind of niggly feeling like I want to buy something. I need something. Um, I need to buy something to feel good um, in a way. So I know I I would get this kind of urge and I would like get on my phone or like get on the internet and like kind of browse and, you know, you kind of want that excitement um of buying something and getting something new and feeling like you've got something to be excited about and um, it's fun and you know you kind of I would feel like I was kind of getting closer to some kind of um, goal or some kind of perfect life that I thought that I would have if I had this thing which leads me on to one of the other um, sort of reasons that I would buy things and this kind of this concept I read about on the blog Miss Minimalist actually I think the next the uh, next two things I read about on the blog Miss Minimalist so I'll put the links to her blog posts below and um, the first one is wanting to want something so um, it's just that kind of feeling like even if you didn't need anything the just the excitement of um I like trying to find this perfect thing that you think that you need. Um, so you, you might kind of have some justification for like, oh, I need a new pair of boots or I need a new, um, like I was saying yesterday, I, I, I need to have a black blazer or a navy blazer in my wardrobe. So then you kind of, and then you get that thing and then you f you think of another thing that you need and you kind of go from one kind of thing to the next. And I I know with clothes for me, I would always feel like um, once I get this thing, then my not my life would be perfect, but there had this kind of sense that my, my life would be better and that I was solving problems, which was another... Um, blog post that I read on Miss Minimalist blog that um, really resonated with me as well is this idea that you solve problems by um, buying something. So, like, there's either, you know, when you buy that perfect black blazer or navy blazer, then you'll never kind of, um, you know, be stuck for something to wear or you've you've filled that hole and you've solved that problem. And um, Miss Minimalist in her blog, she talked about how she um, she bought a um, baby bounce rocker when she had a, a little baby. She was trying to solve the problem of her baby not sleeping well. And um, like I've got two kids and like seriously, I went when both of them were little babies and they were still – kind of learning how to go to sleep and stuff because when little babies are born they like you can't just kind of put put them down and they'll fall asleep magically like they kind of need your help they like to be rocked and um padded and all those sorts of things um and you just kind of desperately want them to sleep well so that you can get some sleep or you can do something other than um padding a baby to sleep or whatever um so like this was a period in my life when I had little babies where I was like desperate for solutions. And, um, so I, I seriously went through so many, like I would buy all these different, like, um, swaddles. You can wrap like babies, little newborn babies like to, um, some of them like to be kind of wrapped up and kept secure so that it feels like they're back in the womb and they're, they're, um, cause they don't have muscle control. So their limbs kind of like, um, jerk around and stuff and they can wake themselves up so when you kind of wrap them up then they feel a bit more secure and kind of um, cozy and um, there's all these but then they start to wriggle and they get out so then there's all these like there's so many products around where you can kind of wrap your baby up in this magical way that means that they're going to sleep through the night 
from the second that you put them in the um, the miracle blanket or the this or the that. So I just like I I bought so many of these like baby sleep solutions and like we only ever we use the same thing the whole time um, that we were swaddling our kids but I seriously bought like I don't know like so many different versions of these things but so you know I was trying to solve this problem when I already had the best solution kind of thing and um, I recently kind of realized um, that I was always like things would come up in my life there would be a sort of thing that would happen I'd go oh I must go and do this I must go and buy this or get this and that will solve this problem um, I'm just trying to think of an example well I think I would I like my son is four and he's learning how to kind of get dressed and stuff I mean he can get dressed but he gets frustrated so I had this kind of urge of like I must get clothes that are very easy for him to put on and then I kind of thought about it and went like he's okay with what he's got like I don't need to go and buy him any new clothes so that it's easy for him easier for him to get dressed like he's he's managing with what we have already so yeah just this kind of like idea that things are going to solve problems for you is just a little bit misguided um but the other thing that I've noticed as well is like in our culture and especially in around fashion and beauty and stuff, the language that gets used is so kind of emphatic and um, sort of extreme. Like with, with fashion, it's always like these seasons must haves or it'll be like the summer survival guide or the like the summer festival survival guide or, um, you know, like this kind of like you must have it now or like season is like, you know, wardrobe essentials and, you know, everything's so kind of like the language is so strong for these things that, you know, like people don't have to have like, I keep talking about a black blazer, but you don't have to have a black blazer kind of thing. Like not everyone needs a black blazer and, um, not everyone needs a white shirt. Like, you know, I I haven't had a white shirt for years. Like, I'm fine. Like, <laughs> um, and so, and, but like, I you don't question it. You kind of, in the past, I didn't question it. I just kind of, um, or I did kind of think it was a little bit ridiculous. But then I also still kind of bought into this feeling that like, I had to have these things and that these things would make my life better and easier and um, more perfect or something. But, you know, they, in a, not in every case, but in a lot of cases, these things just kind of complicated my life in terms of like, I just harder to, to kind of manage all these things or, you know, like I already had the best thing anyway. Um, I didn't need to go and um, buy something new or, you know, like, um, I would that some like I like when I was talking about how I, something small would happen, and I think like I have to go and buy this new thing to kind of like solve that problem. But if I just kind of let it go, then maybe that problem wouldn't come up again. Um, you know, or maybe we'll find a way of working it out uh, without. Um, buying anything I mean one of the one of the biggest examples is buying storage solutions um, to manage your stuff <laughs> so uh, like recently I was because I've been kind of doing a big clear out in our kitchen and I I had like a few baking trays and um, like serving trays and stuff and I was like kind of going like there was part of me who, that really 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 wanted to buy some sort of storage solution to kind of you know neatly store all of my kind of like tray things so that it would look nicer but I mean the other solution is to have fewer trays because a lot of those trays I don't use like so I ended up just kind of reducing the number of trays I had in my kitchen and I have not had a problem with 
how many trays I have. It hasn't caused me any problems having fewer trays. And I didn't need to go and buy a special, because you can get those kind of, it's like a, a big, an overgrown kind of toast rack that you can put trays into. It's like, you know, you don't need to buy more things to organize all the things that you don't need. Uh, but there's this whole kind of industry of storage solutions, which is solving a problem um, of how many things people have when the other solution is to have fewer things so you don't need to buy the storage solutions. Um, yeah, so I just thought I would talk about those reasons why we buy things uh, that we don't need. Um, I don't know if anyone can think of other things. Um, uh, yeah, but if you're interested, then I'll put the links to the Miss Minimalist blog down below so you can read her posts because um, I found them really helpful and interesting. Anyway, okay. Thank you. Bye. Kind of perfect life that I thought that I would have if I had this thing, which leads me on to one of the other um, – sort of reasons that I would buy things and this kind of this concept I read about on the blog Miss Minimalist actually I think the next the uh, next two things I read about on the blog Miss Minimalist so I'll put the links to her blog posts below hit of excitement um, from buying something so I remember like I would I would get a kind of niggly feeling like I want to buy something I need something um, I need to buy something to feel good um, in a way so I know I've, I would get this kind of urge and I would like get on my phone or like get on the internet and um, the first one is wanting to want something so um, it's just that kind of feeling like even if you didn't need anything the just the excitement of um, I like trying to find this perfect thing that you think that you need um, so you, you might kind of have some justification for like, oh, I need a new pair of boots and, and like kind of brows and, you know, you kind of want that excitement um, of buying something and getting something new and feeling like you've got something to be excited about and um, it's fun and, you know, you kind of – I would feel like I was kind of getting closer to some kind of – um, goal or some. Hi everyone, um, I'm back today with another video and it's going to be about um, the reasons why I used to buy things um, that I didn't need um, or yeah, the reasons why I used to buy things I didn't need. So um, a, like the first one is, um, you know, you get that kind of like 